world leaders signaled their commitment to a bold new global agenda. The aspirations of people. It is so decided. Paris is known as the city of light. So this was an insight uh, that came to us when we were developing the NDC Explorer, which is a tool that provides a comprehensive analysis of countries' climate action plans. What we found was that many climate action plans submitted by countries for the climate negotiations in Paris in 2015 went far, far beyond merely indicating ambition to lower greenhouse gas emissions. We found that NDC actions were interlinked with uh, sustainable development goals and more, more relevant to some goals and less to others, but there was a connection throughout. That sustainable development um, needs to inform climate policy in so far that um, we um, at the end receive a climate policy that has a human face. So really include the social dimension of the 2030 agenda and the SDGs into climate policy, which is um, naturally um, including more the ecological and a bit the economic dimension. So uh, our work with the uh, NDC SDG connections found that there is already an interconnection between climate change and the Agenda 2030 process. But what, what is really great with the NDCs is that the, these climate action plans are country-driven country through a bottom-up process. This means that countries are free to determine their own climate targets and instruments to achieve these targets. In other words, the NDC set out ambitions towards the promotion of sustainable development across many relevant dimensions. What we know now from research is really that the two agendas really link thematically to each other. Um, so what we would like to see in the future, or what we would need now, is to also align the processes and institutions behind these two huge agendas um, to really foster synergies um, and trade-offs um, to make a really meaningful and policy coherent implementation of both agendas. We learn that there are thematic um, deep dive areas where um, the indices and the climate uh, and the SDG agenda actually overlap a lot. So we have um, thematic areas like agriculture, like water, like um, biodiversity um, and also partnerships that really overlap in both um, agendas. The major task waiting the negotiators at the COP23 in Bonn is to continue this, the discussions on how to operationalize the Paris Agreement. But this takes also place during a year that has seen major extreme weather related events. This year's chair of the climate negotiations is Fiji, which will shed light on the challenges uh, the many small island states are experiencing. For this year, the negotiators are increasingly facing the interlinked challenges of climate change and sustainable development. Hopefully for this year's negotiation, the interlinkages between the two agendas will be a top priority. Well, the 2030 agenda process um, should also um, include um, the commitments that have been done now by the NDCs and the climate process, because these are ratified, this is a very formalized process. Um, we already know the activities um, countries have committed. In the 2030 agenda process, it depends on the countries of what um, and how to implement the agenda. Um, so there, I think, is huge potential to learn within countries, but also across countries, to look at to, into those countries that are very ambitious and see how they actually pose to deal with challenges and how they suggest to go ahead with, with critical issues and then um, learn from each other and actually try to be more ambitious um, in implementing the 2030 agenda.